Hello people, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about my top 5 tips on how to lose weight on a vegan diet. So tip number 5. As you could guess, it's an exercise. It's some type of routine that you have and you put into your week and you stick with it. If you think about it, you sleep for 6 to 8 hours a day. You spend, most of us have office jobs, so you spend another 8 hours in the office sitting on a chair. That's 16 hours or 14 hours out of your day. And if you think that this one hour or three hours a week will be enough, for most of us it actually really isn't. We need to be much more active than what we are right now. So starting with three hours a week of some type of exercise, it could be anything, it could be fast walking, running, uh, cross trainer, um, it could be rowing, uh, you could join any sort of fitness classes or do anything that you like to do. If you do that, this is the first and the foremost important step for you to be able to lose weight on any diet, not just a vegan diet, by the way. But exercise is number five. Number four. Okay, so what will be the four most important thing on how to lose weight on a vegan diet? You'll be surprised, but it's actually your mindset. The way you think about what you are doing, the way you make yourself feeling. I had a client over the years that had the best diet in place, had the best exercise in place, and they were still not shifting their weight. The reason is the way you see yourself, the way you understand who you are, will either create very good feelings within you and around yourself, or it can get you depressed. And depression, stress, all these sort of things, they actually can disallow you to lose weight. So let's, let's have an example. You come back from work, you sit on your sofa, you eat, okay? You eat because that's the only satisfaction that you have in your life, for, in, for example. Some of us are like this. And more you eat, more unhappy you become. This is a vicious circle that is very hard to come out of. And actually, then you decide to make a change. You speak to a fitness professional and they say, okay, we're gonna have to do this, uh, fitness program and, and um, nutrition program and stuff like that. And you are doing the best you can, but at the end of the day, you are the worst enemy of yourself. You come back from a fitness class and the fridge or the, or the cookie jar is still there. Uh, the fridge is full of lovely things that you can eat, even though you've been advised to have very small dinner, for instance, something more of a kind of a salads or soups and stuff like that, you're still gonna go for the instant satisfaction. So there will be a certain way and certain progress and, and a program how you would have to, either with the guidance or yourself, to almost reprogram yourself in the way of how you think about yourself. So that's a tip number four. Tip number three, you have to know exactly what to eat, when to eat it, and what choices to really, really make. The fact that you become vegan does not mean that all vegan food is actually healthy. You've got so much vegan junk food out there and what usually happens to most people is that they go for the, for, the, for the way of thinking that anything that is vegan is healthy. Sorry to tell you, but it's not. Loads of those vegan products that you see out there are actually still, even though they are vegan, they are still full of chemicals and compounds that your body just does not need never did need it and never will and actually will make you put on weight so for instance we go for 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 a whole range of, of of the vegan products i mean fantastic that actually there there are so many choices nowadays there are so many uh things that you can choose from but you have to know exactly what you're doing you have to know that 
you got rid of animal products, that's really, really good. Uh, but you will still need some type of plant-based protein. You need to get some of your uh, hemp protein, for instance, uh, pea protein, brown rice protein. And even those proteins, sometimes in the combinations of he's got massive V on it, but you have a look at the ingredients and it's got artificial sweeteners, it's got additives, it's got things in there that you should not be eating. Checking your ingredients in anything that you're having should be very, very important for you. Veganism is not just about scraping everything that is animal. It's also about making healthier choices for yourself. Veganism is a lifestyle that can help you to become healthier, to, to radiate with the health but you have to exactly know what you're doing. So again, finding the right guidance, uh, biggest problem that we've got all out there is that sometimes you read an article and, uh, and it's saying something positive about an object and the next day you read an article that is saying something neg negative about the object, right? So, you know, from top of my head, for instance, there was, a, there was an article about coconut oil being really, really bad and stuff like that. I mean. Okay, well, just common sense, who do you think paid for the article, right? Because the dairy industry does not like nice, uh, pure coconut uh, taking over, right? Or the oil industry, whoever, yeah? But you always have to think and see things for what they really are. But this is a little bit of the subject. But however, making the right choices, having the, the top of the range nutrition having superfoods in your diet, having the plant-based proteins in your diet, having enough vitamins and minerals will help you to actually have the best for your body and then the body will support you with the best it has for you to be on, in top form. All right, so tip number two is good night's sleep. This is one of the most basic things that most of us forget about. We live in a society that is constantly pumping us up with stress so many demands, things that we almost are, our heads are exploding by the amount of information that, that we have. If you think about it, 100 years ago, we were an agricultural society. We had maybe one or two roles uh, to do. Yeah? You, you might have been a, a family member and you were working in the field. Yeah. How easy life was. Nowadays, you've got all the mobile phones that are constantly just giving you more information, always emails, always someone calling, messaging, blah, 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 all the advertisement. We are simply under so much stress. And if you don't find a way to calm yourself down, you will not be able to have proper good night's sleep. And if you don't sleep well, that leads to many other different things that can go wrong with, you know, in your physiology. So your body will not have enough energy, therefore you will have to have more coffee and, 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 and teas and stuff like that. Therefore, uh, you will feel always sort of up and down and kind of tired. You'll be reaching for sugary snacks and stuff like that. So good night's sleep is very, very important. Now, what I find helps me is uh, that, that is something that sort of goes together with the mindset as well. So you need to learn how to deal with stress. Now, there are many, many different things. You can, you can sort of get yoga into your, into your daily life. You could have some breathing practices that, that can help you to calm down. You could, before you go to bed, you can read a book um, or you can just sit on the bed and just, just breathe consciously uh, to calm yourself down, to sort of switch off. What I also find that helps me is to actually have a grounding sheet. Now this is, um, this sounds like a proper hippie stuff, but basically what this is, is there has been a research that, that has been done on, um, on, a, on a sleeping and on the fact that if we surrounded by electric equipment, our body accumulates electricity that can come out as a stress in our body, which could trigger depression and so on and so on and so on. So grounding sheet is something that actually helps you to release the electricity from your body. Now, I'm gonna talk a bit more about this. Um, I'm gonna, have, uh, if, you, if you're really interested, I can send you a link and stuff like that in one of the next videos for that. But basically what it means, it releases electricity from your body. And uh, it, it helps you to stimulate your um, immune system and other things within your body. So 
kind of the idea is that you you sleep in a really really calm environment that leads to also other things such as you shouldn't have any any sort of uh, plugs uh, close to your head uh, you shouldn't have actually mobile phone by by on your on your bedside table uh, having text messages and stuff like that coming through all the time while you're sleeping because that interrupts your sleeping patterns um, so many other things such as uh, you know sort of blinding your windows properly uh, going to bed before 12 o'clock and things like that yeah I mean if you're really interested I can actually shoot a proper video about this and and to give you exactly more information but uh, this will be sort of summarized uh, tip number two and now the tip number one it is about how much of your diet is cooked and how much of it is actually raw now you'll have many different opinions about this what I would always say to everyone try things see if they work for you and if they do keep doing them if they don't swap them around and try something else now, having some of your diet raw will help you massively because you go to the shop and all, most of the vegan range, all of it is just cooked, it's all already prepared, it's already been processed, right? So coming back to the normal common sense of any sort of diet, if everything is processed and everything is cooked, all the nutrients are out, right? So try and make sure that at least at least 40 percent in my opinion it should be probably about 50 percent uh, but at least 40 percent is raw now you'll, you'll say to me oh well i don't like salads and stuff like that well okay that's fine that's fine one of the one of the simplest things that you can do every morning is to make a green juice get a celery spinach a little bit of ginger and half of an apple celery actually on its own has a compound that helps to burn fat having a nice glass of green juice every morning will massively help you with with the start of the day with the, the, the simply said the first thing that you have in the morning will almost start up your day in the right or the wrong way so having a nice green juice in the morning on so many levels it's it's win-win right so once you have that green juice what happens is because the, the fiber has been stripped away by the juicer of course and you only have the pure juice from from those vegetables and a bit of a fruit um, it starts being digested and absorbed by by your stomach first of all the juices are very good because they can go through the walls of your stomach to be absorbed into your body also much easier uh, in your in your small intestine right so if you have oh, on the other side if you for instance making a making a smoothie later that will be a bit more substantial so that will take a little bit longer to be digested so my perfect start of the day would be having a nice green juice in the morning of course you have to drink loads of water throughout the whole day no questions asked um, having a nice green juice in the morning and then a few hours later having a really good smoothie that actually is supplied with all the nutrients that you need so you have to have some superfoods some nice coconut water or water and starting your day this way will actually help you to keep on the right level yeah going throughout your day you should have some green salads um, you should combine that yeah? you should combine having some raw and having some cooked uh, compounds or actually food <laughs> compounds and then when it comes to the dinner dinner is the most important to have as small as possible anything that you eat in the evening will if you're just going to bed straight after will just turn to fat you wake up tired you have to have a coffee and everything is ruined for the whole day so having these would be my five tips try them let me know if you like them what it does for you and what it doesn't and i'll see you next time